Hello, I just want to show you now what are the required settings for um, a V2 uh, running on LK8000 software uh, in combination with uh, a Colibri um, vol logger um, combined with an LX160 system and an integrated mux into the uh, glider. Um, what's important for the settings on the uh, GPS or on the V2 itself is uh, the following is that if you go into GPS mode you will see you have your internal GPS this GPS should remain configured on Comport 4 that's important uh, in this configuration um, that we have here uh, we will not use the internal port we will mainly use the uh, GPS from uh, the Colibri or the Flarm, depending on the setting of the MUX. Um, the communication has been done over um, the RS232 uh, port, basic RS232 port, uh, over the power connector. And this one is connected internally uh, in the back plane and back of the uh, instrument panel. It's connected uh, towards the MUX. Okay, so it's important the setting here is that you have, uh, and this this way it's working, it's on the Comport 7. So all communication is mixed together in Comport 7, uh, as you can see here. So this is the setting that you should have, um, COM7 at 19,200 uh, bits per second. That's on the level of the V2. This enables you all um, uh, functionality that um, you require to have this system working as an LX8000 system so it goes from uh, declaring flights that you prepared on your LK8000 system um, to up to uh, in-flight modus having uh, automatic settings of um, automatic settings of uh, MacReady from uh, LX160 uh, towards the LK8000 software and vice versa. So um, this is uh, crucial so we'll also um, go into the device menu now to really demonstrate um, um, what you can do with this uh, uh, with this setting. So you got now a GPS uh, data error so that's uh, not so good. Yes this is better so all communication has been confirmed. You can see we're still at 4,800 here, we also at uh, 4,800 here in the configuration screen on the devices, so that's screen 8 in the configuration uh, window 2, so you see here, we are now at Colibri, uh, COM7 4,800 bits per second, so this is what we call declaration mode, this, uh, your connection is now between your LK8000 going over the LX160 mix um, towards the uh, coming from the um, Colibri 4800 bits per second. This enables you to declare. Um, if you want to go to flying mode, make a small demonstration. Uh, in flying mode, you should be at well X160 in the system. You can switch over to a speed of 19,200. So you can only need to do this in in the screen of the LK8000. In the background, your setting is at 19,200 on the V2, but the ports is uh, dynamically switched over depending on the setting you're doing here in the LK8000 level. So uh, as you can see, I can demonstrate. We will do the mix uh, switching. And I will close and it will switch over from the 4800 setting. Um, it will switch over to 19200, providing all functionality from the one LX160 system. So that's uh, in a small outline how it can work. So it can work uh, by setting the V2 in the background on uh, 19200 on COM7. We're connected to the rest of the system. And the MUX and the configuration screen uh, I just showed you on the LK8000, they should be aligned in the right speeds and the right protocol to use, depending on which functionality you use. You want is that in declaration mode you should have a Colibri uh, connected. In flight mode, normally you go to the LX160. 
if the uh, there would be a problem with the GPS, the Colobi GPS, you could switch over to the Flarm modus and you will get all information for your uh, LK8000 from the, uh, the Flarm GPS and barometer. Okay, thank you for your attention and speak to you next time. Bye.